everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review, and today I'm going to show you how you can do a sum of a table in Power Apps. So, as you can see on my screen, I've got a SharePoint list here, and I'm going to count the sum of this orders column here in Power Apps. Uh, and this will also work on a collection as well. Uh, but basically, very quick, I'm just going to insert a label here. Um, I've already connected to that SharePoint list. If you don't know how to do that, I'll put the link to a video in the description on how to connect to a data source. Basically, in my label, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a sum. So that's the sum function. And then you want to refer to your data source. So again, this was called test vendors. There's our data source there. And then basically, after your comment, all you want to do is just put the column that you want to get that sum for. So I'm just going to do the column orders. And then when I close my parentheses, there you can see that's coming up with the sum of that number. So 61, that's the count of that number there. I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Thank you.